Hey everybody! Today we're doing something I unfortunately never got to try. My fiance was able to travel a lot, painting murals, all that fun stuff. And he got to travel to Chicago quite a bit. Chai Town, Go Bulls, Windy City, the Bears. And one of the things that he always used to tell me was the Chicago dogs. Chicago dogs! Every time he had one, he would call me, take a photo of it, send me a video, and Every time I was so jealous, it looked so, so, so good. Since I don't think I'll be able to make it to Chicago for quite a while, I wanted to try Chicago dogs at home. Looked up a few different recipes on what Chicago dogs are known for. And it's pretty spicy, which I love, so I'm really excited about that. You don't have to make it as spicy if you don't like with all the peppers and stuff, but I wanted to do it the right way, Chicago full style. We definitely enjoyed it. I hope everybody's staying at home, cooking, everybody's healthy, and I can't wait to meet up with everyone soon. We really miss you guys. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. Bye. So as a lot of you know, some grocery items are super limited right now during these crazy times. I unfortunately couldn't find poppy seed buns or relish, believe it or not, but first world problems, right? First chop half an onion, then slice half a tomato, then thinly slice pickle spears, hot peppers, and banana peppers. Then making sure your grill is super hot, meaning the coals are covered in that gray ash. Of course, you can also use a gas grill or even a hot frying pan to cook your hot dogs. Just remember to use all beef hot dogs. After a couple of minutes, turn the dogs over and grill for a few more minutes. I also place my buns on the grill for a minute to get them nice and toasted. Remove your dogs and buns. To properly build your Chicago dog, start with the bun and add mustard. Then your chopped onion. I added extra because I love it. Then your hot dog then two slices of tomato, a pickle slice, your banana peppers, paprika and celery salt. Last but not least, add your hot peppers. Like I said before, these are super, super hot, so if you like spicy, this is the way to go. If you don't, you can leave them off. Pair with your favorite french fries, chips, coleslaw, and enjoy. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.